Hi, Dr. Minkoff, LifeWorks Wellness Center. Today I want to talk about this topic called dysbiosis. What does that mean? Dys is like not right, dysfunction, like something's not working correctly. Biosis, biosis means to things that are alive, and especially with the intestine. So we have this thing called microbiome. These are the living organisms that are within your large intestine and to some extent your small intestine. Now there are actually more of them if you count them than there are of all our cells. So if we have a hundred trillion cells in our body, they have probably 10 to a hundred times more living in our gut, okay? They don't take up as much room as we do because they're very small, but they have a huge influence on our body and our physiology and our health. Some people in fact say, the reason that we actually have bodies is to house these microorganisms that live within us. Most of them are what we call anaerobic. They don't like oxygen or they can't live with air. So when they're living inside our intestine, they're not exposed to air and they can live. Now for us, they make all kinds of hormones and vitamins and things that we need. And so it's important that the guys that are living in, within us be good guys. Now, when we eat food, we aren't sterilizing everything we eat. If you just take a peach off the shelf, or you eat a piece of cold chicken that's been sitting in your refrigerator. It's not sterile. If you took a swab and swabbed it, there would be bacteria there. And of course, when we eat those back, when we eat that thing, the bacteria get in us. Now they're supposed to get killed when they hit our stomach because our stomachs have acid, real strong acid. And they're supposed to sort of get boiled in that acid and that gets rid of them. But many people are on medications where their acid isn't being produced. If you're taking Nexium or Tagamet or Pepsid or one of these kinds of drugs, you don't have stomach acid. The doctor gave you something that poisoned your stomach acid and now you have none. So when those bacteria come in or parasites come in or yeast come in, they're not killed because they pass right through their stomach. There's no acid. If you take an acid blocking drug, the pH, the acid level of your stomach is the same as water. So now you have a salad and you have some chicken and you have some, you have a peach and you get bacteria and those bacteria go right through you. And what happens? They start growing in your small intestine and in your large intestine, and they may be unfriendly ones. Now, maybe you also have been taking an antibiotic for a week or two. You got a urinary tract infection, or you got a sore throat, or you got a cold, or you got bronchitis, and the doctor gave you an antibiotic. Well, we know if you took an antibiotic, that kills off the good bacteria that are in your gut. So now you get this mixture of things going on where your good bacteria are too low, and you're eating constantly bacteria that aren't friendly, or that are bad bacteria, and bad bacteria basically are the ones that are resistive to regular antibiotics. And bad bacteria do two things. They cause local infection and inflammation within the wall of the intestine. They damage the wall of the intestine so that then it doesn't absorb food as well. They also make biotoxic waste. They make poisonous stuff. They pee, they poop, they put out bad stuff. And we absorb that through our intestine then that stuff gets in the rest of our body and it poisons everything else. So when you get this mixture of parasites, bad bacteria, yeasts, in the gut, we call that dysbiosis. The things that are living there are the bad ones and they can outnumber the good ones and that leads to all kinds of, magna uh, of, of bad stuff in your body. Usually people with dysbiosis can get brain fog, they can feel fatigue, they can feel stressed, they don't sleep, their body doesn't function right. Now they may have pain in their stomach or crampiness or diarrhea or constipation, but they may not. They may not realize that anything is going on in there. This turns out that almost everybody we see has some of this going on. And what we know is if we don't get that balance back of the good bacteria, and very reduced numbers of bad bacteria and yeast and no parasites, 
that the person never will really get better because this is the sort of core and hub of the body and it's where so many important things take place but when that organ is constantly distressed with infection and then the waste that that infection produces that influence on the rest of the body the person will never be well and won't feel well okay so that is dysbiosis i hope you understand it now i hope this helps